Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful angel earring. So let's get started. The materials you'll be needing are a 2 inch head pin, an earring hook, and these are just the materials for only one pair of earrings. But as you can see I have different little like beads and day spacers here. And this comes in a strand, strand as you can see. And it's a dyed reconstructed stone angel, so it's supposed to look like a little angel, as you can see. And it comes like that, but you can also just add a little bead on top, like this one. And you don't have to use the exact same thing as I have. You could just find a teardrop bead, like this one. And there's different colors and sizes that you can make this earring. Have more colorful teardrops. Also, it doesn't always have to be this color if you buy this like set. It could be smaller and a pearl one. Here I have a clear teardrops with the same things, the wings and the daisy spacer. So yeah, and for the top you could just add any bead, here I have a different one, it's kind of hollow but like transparent and blurry, and you could also use different wings, so there's different sizes as well, so here I have this one with a little little teardrop and then the same wing, bead and a crown, here I have a heart wing, heart in the middle and then a wing, and here I have dragonfly wings, which I think is really cool. Besides that, you could use any teardrop, day spacer, round bead, and a wing. But besides that, the tools you'll be needing are a round nose plier and a chain nose plier. So let's get started. So first you're going to take your head pin. You're going to arrange your beads and your day spacer and all that. So first the body part is going to be my teardrop, then the wings, then the head, and a daisy spacer. There we go, a daisy spacer. So as you can see we're already almost done. You could just add your extra bead now, but I'm not going to. So now I'm just going to bend it 90 degrees. Like that. You could use a tool to bend it, but I'm just using my hand. Make sure not to bend the bead with it. Just bend the head pin. Now it looks something like this. Now I'm going to take my brown nose pliers. You want to go to the center but not all the way down and not all the way up so mainly the center and you're just going to make the loop. There we go. You could fully close it or add your head pin or not, I mean your earring hook now. As you can see, my loop came out good. But I'm just going to open it with my chain nose plier. Just so the loop could stay the same. And I'm going to open it like a regular jump ring. So mainly to the side. There we go. I'm going to add my head pin. And my earring hook on my to my head pin and then I'm going to close it just pull it in like you close your jump ring and you could fix it with your round nose pliers again and you can also straighten it or do whatever you want to make your loop look good I'm just using my round nose plier 
Let's try and cover it in. And there we go. So this is, as you can see, the materials for only one pair of earrings. But you can make a second one and you have both earrings like I have here. So as you can see, now we have a pair of these cute dyed reconstructing angel earrings. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you like and comment on this video and subscribe for more videos like this.